How's little man doing? Oh, he didn't sleep well last night. Good choice to be in the spare room. Okay, well, I would have rather have been with you. Look, I'll stay with him tonight if you're going to be restless again. Depends how sore your lip is. Yeah. One lucky punch, that. Yeah. <clears throat> you sure you're all right? Yeah, it's just, um, I didn't say yesterday, but when the client caught me in the face, I found some gym equipment and bruised my side. Ouch. Double blow to the ego. Look, I'm sorry. I wasn't there to pick up Evan yesterday. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. And you seem to be suffering enough. I'll forgive you just this once. <laughs> Anyway, what are we doing today? I think I might take Evan out for some fresh air if you're all right to look after the kids. Yeah, actually, um, I've got a lead on another car. Seems like a bargain. But I can call and rearrange. No, you do what you have to do. Right. Well, I'll be quick, I promise. And then I'll stay with the kids as long as you need. And that's why I love you. <laughs> So that's one Americano and one bacon on toast. Shouldn't it be two? Or is Kim more of a moosely kind of a woman? I know there's a connection here, I just can't seem to figure it out. You, waving the flag of peace, calling a ceasefire and trying to save your marriage. Oh, that. Yes, that. I thought that's what you wanted. Yeah, the end result. It's all the suffering beforehand that bothers me. What happens if she tells me where to get off? There's only one way to find out. Yeah, I know, but what if... I really don't like it when you're right. You get this smug face thing going on. The one that makes you want to punch me. Nicola might have mentioned it once or twice. <sighs> OK, I'll talk to her if it shuts you up. I happen to know that Kim loves a chai latte with a sprinkle of cinnamon on top, if you're interested. Are you being a mate or are you upselling me? Are the two mutually exclusive? No, but it's not nagging if someone is genuinely trying to help and care for you. And you think giving me condoms will do that? Well, I want you to have a good time, but be safe. I'm seriously not having this conversation again. All right, pretend I'm Ashley and I gave you no. these condoms. No, I'm still not working. OK, fine. But this subject is not closed, all right? But lucky for you, I've got to be at work. Get in the chat. Look at you. Oh, God, you heard that? I mean, talk about cringe. Why would she do that? Uh, because she cares, maybe. Yeah, too much sometimes. Look, I've got to fix a headlight on the van later. You couldn't give us a hand? You want me to help? You catch on fast. And the way I look at it, you owe us a favour, right? Sam's visiting Samson today. He always goes really quiet. Bittersweet, I suppose. Well, I've had my fair share of that, believe me. From both sides of the table. I'm sorry. Here I am prattling on, and you've got your own worries. Hey, we're friends. I, I like hearing about your life. <laughs> Let's face it, it can't be as much of a car crash as mine. Between us, we could write a book. <laughs> Let's just hope we both get the ending we want. Yeah, well, I'm a long way from that. See what I mean? Oh, I know I'm probably the last person you want to see. And yet, in you come anyway. Astute and stupid in equal measures, it would seem. Do you know, I should be cracking on with them skirting boards. One day I'm going to work out just how many miles of them there are in here. I bought you a chai thingy. But, but I can go. You've already ruined my morning. Might as well double down. What the hell are you doing here? This is my home. I know, and I'm impressed. I can see why you fight. Obviously, got a lot to lose. Right, so do yourself a favour, because if my wife sees you here... <laughs> I wouldn't have to track you down if you'd answer your text messages. You're wasting your time. You put on a good show yesterday, even with a hole in your side. Kind of made me want to say more. Well, I'm seriously not interested in what you've got to say. <laughs> How would you know unless you've heard it? If you drop me in this... 
Are you all right? Just brought Evan out for some fresh air. Is everything okay? It would be if Billy would do as I ask. Meaning what? It's nothing. The client recommended me. Man, there's luck would have it. I was just passing. Is that luck or is that a bit stalkery? No offence. Well, that depends, doesn't it? On whether I get myself a new PT out of it. You know, my mate's always raving on about how good he is. If there's a slot going, I want it. Yeah, I'll see. But right now, I'm going to focus on my family, so... If you say so. My mate gave you my number. I'm happy to pay over the odds. Let me know, yeah? A driver in a car like that, you should double the price. Yeah, well, Evans just got home. And I know that yesterday wasn't great, but he comes first. Well, if she'll pay good money, you'd be daft not to think about it. To be honest, I half expected to end up with a horse's head in my bed after yesterday. Odd reference, given what you know about me and my love for horses. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I was just referencing that scene in the... Uh... Yeah, I know what you meant. You thought I'd take revenge on you for Kerry. Yeah. Well, then I realised that I'd done just the same thing with Peter, and I couldn't see the point. Except I didn't sleep with Kerry. I lied. We didn't, you know, actually do old. Had too much to drink, had we? I'm not proud of it, but I... I paid her to pretend that we'd been together. With my money? With our money. But if that's what you want to take from this, I was hoping to prove how messed up this whole thing had gotten me. And you're telling me this because...? Because I wanted you to know the truth, and if there was any glimmer of hope left for us that... After everything we've done to each other? Look, I know it's a big ask, and I deserve everything I get, but... I couldn't live with myself if I didn't tell you how I feel. And then what? We wiped the slate clean? We both know things could never be the same. Well, that doesn't mean that we can't try, does it? Well, I don't expect you to answer right now, but... Think about it, please. At least give us that. Don't worry, I will. Well, you know where I am. Yeah, yeah, they're working. Nice one. Thanks for that. Yeah, let me uh, get you a brew. How come you've been so nice to me after that? Telling everyone we had a hookup. <laughs> Not your finest moment. I just wanted to seem like I had more experience. Yeah, I know. You're not the only one who's ever felt like that. In Australia, I could be the real me. You know, but here, I just feel so stifled sometimes. Everyone expects me to just be Arthur. It's going to take time to figure out where to go and who to see and... Well, you might feel like you're leading a double life sometimes, but... you will get through it. Yeah, I'm glad someone thinks that. And look, don't take this the wrong way, but if you ever need any advice or... Seriously? I just said it, didn't I? Don't make me regret it. Thanks. Hey, you're moving well, like nothing happened. That's the plan. So everyone knows that they can't bring me down. No matter what they think. Yeah, well, I hope that doesn't include me. How could it? I love spending time with you. And if things weren't like they are? I don't know what you're getting at, but you might as well just say it. But what I'm trying to say is, Tom, are we still going to be seeing each other, or are you just trying to use me? Park around the back of the car. It'd be great if you could take a look at it. Like I've already told you, I can. I'm helping Moira right out the farm today. All right, well, I can bring it up to you if you like. Look, if it needs work doing, I'd rather know now. All right, so that's where you're putting all your winnings. I take it Don doesn't know about your latest influx of cash. Do it like I've got a death wish. And what about the gaping hole in your side? She hasn't seen it. 
I um, slept in the spare room, and this I told her I got from a boxer size client. Wow, well, you really are digging yourself a hole. Okay then, so what would you have done? <laughs> Mate, I'm not judging. You know, I've made my fair share of bad decisions, but that's why I know they always come back to bite you. Yeah, not this time. Now that I've got enough money for a car, I'm going to concentrate on my family, and I'll tell Jade that I'm done once and for all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's Jade? She's the one who runs the fights. Only she turned up at the house earlier, wanting to talk. And you all know what that means. Oh, hang on, you said you weren't going to fight again. Yeah, I know, OK? Look, I took a risk, and so far it paid off. But I heard what John said yesterday, and I might not get so lucky next time. Billy, this isn't about the money for you anymore, is it? You're getting a kick out of this, aren't you? Yeah, well, nothing is worth how bad I feel right now. And family. Family comes first, end of. Well, I'm still alive to tell you the tale. I mean, that's a good sign, right? See? I told you. Good for you. Unless Kim's keeping her powder dry, waiting for me to say too much to incriminate myself, then she's going to go for jugular. Or... She's as tired of this whole sorry saga as you are. Wars of attrition can get you down. Well, I should know. Nicola's a master of them. Jimmy, if I could... Uh... Uh, two secs. We've got a mini-man club going on here. Oh, really? Anything I can help with? Uh, me and Kim, I'm just trying to call a ceasefire. Oh, good for you. That's what I said. But Will's worried that Kim might just be biding her time. That it's more of a Cold War period than all-out conflict. I suppose only time will tell. Yeah. It's Kim. She wants to meet this afternoon. You know, like, when the eyes on a picture follow you around the room? It's kind of like that. Except you can't see the eyes. A friend of mine had tendencies. He used to sit chatting to some spirit. Really? Mm. Everyone thought she was doing it for attention, but... I believed her. Oh, that'd be my cue to leave. I could take out my frustrations on the bathroom tiles. I use a toothbrush. It's really good at getting into the little awkward bits. What? Oh, oh, sorry. We can pick this up another time. Well, yeah, if I've not been possessed by Noreen by then. Oh. Ignore her. We have got every right to be enjoying ourselves together. That's what people in relationships do. Right? Yeah. Look, you make me happy, and that is all that matters. And all this talk of me using you is complete rubbish. I'm sorry, Tom, it's just something what Lydia said. Yeah, well, it's not like she's biased at all, is it? Look, I get it. Of course I do. Can't be easy, being in a relationship with a village pariah. But they don't know the real me. Not like you. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. No, you're not losing me, Tom. But if anything, I'm... Ready to take things to the next level. I want that too. But we both agreed that we're going to wait. And that way, it'll be way more special. You do understand? Yeah, of course I do. Hey, how did it go? Did you get the car? Yeah, yeah, managed to knock him down a bit while I was there. Well, let's see it then. It's with Mac, the farm. He's uh, giving it once over. It drove fine. Nothing, nothing's fallen off so far. Well, it's in better nick than you are, then. How's your side? Yeah, it's fine. You can put something on the breezes if you want. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just a clumsy fool. If anything, I'm embarrassed. And that's all it is? I mean, we're all right. You and me. Of course we are. Never bad. Well, let's take our new car for a spin later. OK. I'll call Mac and maybe we can take the kids for a drive through or something. Sounds perfect. Yeah. OK. I love you, you know that. And I know things haven't been easy lately. But we've got each other. And this amazing family. That's all I need. Yeah, me too. Are you cooking? Well, if you call heating a soup Lydia made cooking, then yes. <laughs> Plenty to go around. Oh, sounds great, thanks. I would say it's just like old times, but I don't want to tempt fate. Why don't we just enjoy it for what it is? And what is it? 
condemn man eating his last meal, or...? <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you? Always have to push things too far. No, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm a bit nervous. This... this means so much to me. And what is this, exactly? Us. Being civil for once, trying to... trying to work things out like grown-ups. You think I acted like a child? We've both been guilty of letting our feelings cloud our judgement. I like paying Kerry to pretend to sleep with you. Well, uh, at least I didn't go through with it. Oh, and here we are again. That wasn't meant as a dig. And yet it was. Let's face it, too much has happened to ever go back. Look, I'm, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but if, if it's what we both want... That's just it. I'm not sure it is. I'm just so tired of all this bickering now. I'm on edge in my own home most of the time. I'm, that's no way to live. I get that. We will figure something out. I already have. I know I've said it before, but I want you to move out. Look, that can't be right. It was just some little old bloke said that he was going to give up driving. Yeah, sorry, mate. You've been stung. What you've got there is a classic cut and shove, and a bad one at that. You're lucky that thing didn't split in two driving up here. I don't believe this. Number's dead. Yeah, of course it is. You use burners, these guys. Falsify documents, they're professionals. So what am I supposed to do now, then? Sell it all? Mm. No, there's only one person that can take that off your hands, and that's Vinny, because that is not fit to be in the road. Great. So some more winnings down the drain, then. Supposed to be taking the kids out for a drive through Might need to be a delivery instead. Don't, he's gonna kill me. And I don't blame her. <clears throat> All I seem to do is let her down. We could ask Charles. You know, see if we could exercise Nori. <laughs> Sorry, what? But then here's her house. And I feel bad for forcing her out. Well, there's no need for that, is there? Are you kidding me, Ryan? I can't live in a haunted house. I'm far too sensitive. Well, you won't have to, OK? I've told Chad we're going to move in here. Seriously? Well, I own it, don't I? Well, I co-own it. Maybe then we'll finally get some sleep. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, how's Samson? Did you give him the picture of Esther? Yeah, yeah, he loved it. It's all right. OK, well, I'll see you later. It's all right. Oh, you've missed Lydia. Something about bathroom towels and toothbrushes. What? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just have a pint. Uh... I'll get sound. Look like you'd uh, do with cheering up. Oh. I don't know if a pint will do it, but thanks. How's Samson going on? Really, I mean. Yeah, it's proper down, to be honest. Laddie says two words most of the time. <sighs> but I can't let folk know that, can I? And if Lydia found out, she'd be even more worried than she is now. Yeah. Can't keep these things bottled up inside. Why not? Let's face it, if I'd have been a better dad, it would never have ended up in prison in the first place. Well, that's far from true. You're one of the best dads I know. What? Look, no offence, but I'd rather just drink this on my own. So the car's stolen? More like two write-offs welded together. Matt reckons it's a death trap, so... So no car, no savings? Well, some savings. You know, to pay for the extra heating next month. But basically, we're back to square one. I don't believe this. I'm sorry, OK? You were right. I got excited and I probably should have taken Matt with me to view it. I don't know what we did in a past life, but why does everything go wrong for us? <sighs> I know it might feel like that. And things are probably going to get tough again, but I'll work extra hard to make the money back. You know that, right? Well, you're going to have to take that posh client from this morning. As many as you can get. I will. OK? I'll contact her and I'll sort something out. Like you said, double the price, whatever it takes. But Dawn, I can't stress how sorry I am. No. I know you are. It's not your fault. It's just the worst timing, isn't it? I just, I just need time to process this.
We've both done things we regret. Why don't we just call it even and draw a line under... So when you said that you wanted me to move out? I meant today. Living under the same roof isn't working and you know it. But this is our marital home. In my name. That I owned before we got together. Kim. Oh, and just so as you know, I've drained our joint accounts. So from now on, the Bank of Kim is closed. You can't do that. Half of it... Uh, go on. Say it again. Not that it'll make any difference. We've said some terrible things. I had hoped it was because of how hurt we felt, that we were just lashing out. Well, now you know otherwise. Fine. Fine. I tried. But when you look back on the carnage that is our marriage, just remember, things didn't have to be like this. Hey, Jude, it's me. What was that you said about an offer I can't refuse? Based on a true story, follow the impulsive mother with a taste for stealing as she's propelled into a world of crime. Mother, liar, lover, liar, thief. Sophie Turner is Joan. Stream it now on ITVX. Next year, Coronation Street. Thank you.